right, folks, welcome to this video where we will cover the concept of downloading training programs, using them, and then also repurposing these programs to use as your own training templates. So before I get into that, um, you can find a list of all of our training programs if you go to our website, go to content and go to programming, and you can scroll through and see all the programs that we have to offer. Now we do create programs on an ongoing basis. So if you do have requests, go ahead and send them to us and we implement new programs in our database on a monthly basis. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to go to Team Builder. And in order to download programs into your account, you have to be a Platinum member. So Platinum members will be able to go to the exercise database and while you're on trial, you can download up to three training programs into your account. So in the exercise database, what we'll do is, is we'll click this little cloud download icon on the left. If you click this, you'll be able to go through all the training programs that we have to offer. And you can click on a program and start transferring it into your account. Now, by default, we will take training programs and the exercises and bring them into what we call the imported exercise database. Now, this is to prevent duplicates. For example, if you build exercises in your account, there's a chance that we have those exercises in our training programs. And if you import them into your master database, then you'll have a duplicate. Not a big deal. You'll just have to be on top of that and make sure to merge those duplicates together. So to prevent that, we can import exercises into an imported database and allow you to systematically introduce exercises into your master database, being aware of duplicates. Now, there's another video that has more detail as to how to do this, and you can look up that video while we go um, after we go through this first. Now, let's say that you download some programs into your account. To view those, um, you can go to managing on the top right and scroll to the very bottom and click saved workouts. Now the saved workouts list will list every training template that you have in your account. And this means that you can use them on your calendars. So if I go to a calendar, I'll just go ahead and pick a random calendar like baseball. And let's take a look. If I go to December the 14th and I want to load a training program, I simply click load. And once I load it, I can just pick the program I want to put in. So if it's 531 12 week program, four day split, I can go ahead and load this workout onto the calendar. Now you can edit this training program. If I go to week view, I can look at it, swap out exercises, change the sets and reps. I can add exercises. And the idea is you can repurpose our templates to make your own. So let's say that you take some time and go through and make some edits and changes to this program. What you can do then is you can click the save icon on the left. And when you save it, you can give it a new name. So if I go and say, save this new three month program, you can call this three month 531. And then I like to go ahead and always put some sort of uh, information here that lets me know what kind of split it is. So in this case, it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and I can say Hewitt's copy or Hewitt's edit. And then once I save that workout, what happens then is I, if I go back to my exercise database, what I have is I have the original 531 program from Team Builder. And at the same time, I also have this modified version of the 531 program uh, called Hewitt's copy. So if I go to saved workouts really quickly, I can go ahead and search now for 531, and here it is. This is the original template, and then here's my modified template. And if you have no need for the original template, you can go ahead and delete it, or you can just keep both in here, no harm, no foul.